So, can you lose fat and gain muscle at the same time? The answer, yes, you can, but only if you're one of these two types of people. So it's very common in the fitness industry with a lot of misinformation out there that a lot of people that are just starting their fitness journeys are kind of led to believe that you have to pick one or two of goals if your goal is to lose fat and gain muscle. It can be one or two, it can't be both at the same time. People are led to believe that either you have to go through a bulking stage where your ultimate goal is to gain as much muscle as possible, or you have to go through a cut stage, a lean out stage, a dieting stage, whatever word you want to call it where the goal is to get as lean as possible. And they feel that those both things can't really happen at the same time. When I'm here to tell you that for two types of people, which is more common than you realize, it is very possible for that to happen. Now, the first kind of person that this is really common for and that we've seen here at RTC, and I can tell you right now, not just even here, but plenty of other amazing personal trainers out there have seen, is for the complete beginner. And I'm gonna kind of define a beginner as someone who's been five plus years since they have been on any kind of consistent exercise program. And so at that point in time, their body has, is at the state it stayed in without any diet, without any exercise whatsoever. So if you take an individual in this state, okay, and they haven't lifted weight or done any kind of iron or resistance training in five years, and next thing you know, they are lifting weights three times a week or more, just by default alone, their body is gonna adapt and start gaining muscle. Now you take the same individual here, and they haven't, you know, they go from no lifting weights to lifting weights three times a week. And you also take it toward now they're moving for 30, 45 minutes, five times a week. So say even doing cardio in addition to some weightlifting days as well. You're going to see that their body is actually going to go through a weight loss, in some cases, a fat loss state. Okay. Nutrition has a part to play with this. I'll talk about that in a second. But yes, it's very common to see that happen. Now, you stack that with a person eating better, well, especially if you're very new to this, guys, and it's been anywhere from five years or longer since you've done anything of consistent, what you'll notice is for the first month, all the way up to six months, you'll notice just by default a pretty steady muscle gain and fat loss just by the fact that you're doing something your body hasn't done in five years or even longer. So yes, that's one person that's definitely and has proven time and time again that can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. What about the other kind of person? Because there is another kind of person that we will notice this happens very commonly with. And this person can still even be in a state of working out. This person is what we call the overfed and undernourished individual. It's the person that's basically, you're not eating enough of the good stuff. You're eating too much of the bad stuff, but not enough of the good stuff. So you're not even getting enough nutrients to recover from day-to-day -day life, let alone recover from a workout. So if you fall kind of into this category, you notice you could be working out, you may not even be working out. But the next thing you know what you end up doing is you start cleaning up your eating. You start eating better. You start eating more lean protein or you at least getting in the amount of protein that your body needs because everyone's body's a little different with that. You know what you'll probably notice? You notice that you start gaining a little bit of muscle, you start losing weight, you start losing fat. Things just seem to happen a little faster. So yes, guys, it is very, very possible to gain muscle and lose fat simultaneously. It has been happened plenty of times with plenty of members here at RTC, and it's happened plenty of times with other people working with amazing coaches, programs, and trainers. It's more common than you realize. In fitness, I know a lot of people want to believe that it's one extreme or the other. You're either you're right or you're wrong. It's this way or that way. And I'm here to tell you guys, especially in muscle gaining and fat loss, it isn't bulking and shredding. It isn't get jacked and get lean. It's really for most people, it, you don't have to go to the extreme, that for most people, they're really right in the middle. And that's typically for a lot of people where they end up getting a lot of the best results.